Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really happy that each and every one of you is here with me today. I have a fun project that I started um, in our last video, so this would be part two. So before we get going, I want to say welcome, welcome to all my brand new subscribers. Hello, hello. I'm very happy you're all here, especially if you came over from Instagram. Well, especially if you came from anywhere, but welcome to all my Instagram friends. And a very special hugs and kisses and lots of love to all of my longtime followers. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me week after week. <laughs> video after video. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one. I know that this Victorian era is not everyone's favorite, but I do love it a lot. Um, of course, Shabby Chic is my very favorite, um, and this will have some shabby in it, and this is mainly shabby Victorian. So anyway, we're going to do some fun things today. I am, I've started playing with the cover a little more, and I realize there's some things I want to do to it. I started work on it, and I thought, no, wait, let's, um, let's turn the camera on and, you know, see if everybody wants to hang out and have some fun. So I put some things on my desk here that I think I'm going to work with today. Before I get going, um, I want to Say thank you to my friend Connie, my longtime friend. And um, we met many years ago when we were both making purses, and she is just fabulous. Um, we used to talk all night every night because both of our hubbies worked at night, so we would keep each other company. And then when I moved from purses to doll making, Connie followed me over to the doll making world. She has not come to this world. I don't think she will. I don't know if she'll ever see this video, but she saw she was out. She was out shopping at garage sales and she saw this deck of cards. And many of you don't know, but I made a doll that looked like Audrey Hepburn. And so, uh, is this Audrey Hepburn? Audrey, I get them mixed up. There's two Audreys. Anyway, <laughs> so she saw this and she said, thought of you. She sent me a lovely little note and she sent them to me and Oh, you guys, look at these. Do they not just fit my whole aesthetic? You know, the things, okay, this is the doll that I made. She looked a lot like this, um, and um, she sold immediately. She was gone. I regret selling her with everything I am. I wish I had kept her. I mean, I had the necklace. I had the the crown and the hair, the gloves, the whole, the whole bit. I, I did her up gorgeous. So anyway, she saw these and thought I needed them for my current work. And she is so right, you guys. I'm going to be using these in one of my videos because, you know, I mean, in one of my projects, you know, I love um, cabinet cards. Well, these are playing cards and these are just as good as a cabinet card. So you'll be seeing those in an upcoming project, I'm sure. I don't know. It'll have to be a very special project before I would want to use them. But they're sitting on my desk looking at me and she just makes me smile. So anyway, thank you, Connie. Alrighty, so let's get busy. Um, this is kind of where I'm going with the cover. You guys remember, uh, this is my um, Italian and French um, fashion plate catalog. And so we worked on these. This one last time, it is now completed. I have a lot of laces. I've added some pretty trims. And we have lace up the side. You saw me do that. I have added, I um, hand stamped a bunch of, um, what do we call these? Um, they're the little file folder labels. I stamp, hand stamped those with a stamp from Signet Stamps and then hand wrote the information from the card onto the top. And then I added, I made three of these pretty little um, fashion samples, seems for samples that I added as if these were fabrics and then this is your your laces, right? And so then on this side, we have these ladies and we have all of this here, we have this here. I did the same thing there, added some samples there, added some little fluffy stuff that matches what's on her dress here. I added the green for the dress up there. There's the brown from that dress and the pink from that hat. So as you can see, I kind of you know pulled all the things and then I put the info off the card that you see here up here. So these are going to go inside of our folder. And, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I'm going to double check to see what you did see. See if you could see all the pretty trims and things. And then this one. 
I'm gonna put it up a little closer so you could see all the goodies. You could see that the, the flowers that go with her dress here, all of this. And this up here is, is like this here. Then we have this. And this is the pink one. So here's all the goodies for the pink dress. All the things that go here are here on the bottom. So there's a little bit of each dress on the, the sampler card. And as you know, they're really good and they are heavy. So they're a fun, really fun um, fashion plate. These are fashion plates and these are sampler cards. Okay. All right. <sighs> so now we've gone over that. Okay. So this is the cover of what this is going to go into. Um, and I've pulled out, I want to do some work on it before I get going. Now I do have a picture of this, so I won't worry about what it looks like. I'm going to pull all this off and I will put it into my little plate. So we have everything together. Pull this off here and then this and then I pulled out this word fashion which I know I want to put on here but I think I want to do a little um, stenciling or something or embossing or something this these words I have a whole set of fashion words um, from a jeweled design and you can find the direct link in my um, because that's my shop and my daughter's and my daughter creates these she's a, a a graphic designer. So she has all kinds of words and all kinds of scripts, but she has one specifically for this type of project that I asked her to make for me. So these are over in a jeweled design. Okay, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to move these. So this is kind of where I'm going with this, as you can see. I want to possibly stencil on here and I may even want to use one of my frames. So I was thinking, oh, I, I shouldn't have took that off there. I wanted to figure out what frame I want to use. Look at this. This was a scrap. And the scrap is a heart. I didn't cut that purposely or anything. It just came out to look like a heart. So I thought I might use it on here. Really pretty. But I also thought I might want to use, I may have to go cut um, a new or a different frame for it. If I don't have any that I like. I was thinking something, you know, along that lines, like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. Possibly. I don't know. I'm in the uh, I don't know place. I don't want pink. Some of these I have already gold edged with gold. I do kind of like this one. If I put some gold on it, maybe. Possibly. I do have two in that, so I could take one and do some gold. I'm going to be working with gold today, so I think I'll pull that out. And then these are my others, and I don't see any here that I just have to have. Put that back in there before I damage them. Well, how are all you guys? How is everyone, guys and girls? Hope everyone's well. I don't know if I still have all my guys or if you've left me. Probably left. <laughs> Realize this was not an exciting channel, so away you went. All right, so this is our cover, but before we get going on it, I am going to want to add some gold. Now, I do have a couple different gold, um, different colors of gold ink, but I also have my gold paste, and I've had this for ever in a day I'm, I actually need to and I got it on Clarence I think at Hobby Lobby or someplace but um I think it's definitely one I want to consider using and get myself organized here okay so I'm going to want to put some gold I think all this is our base that we worked on remember and I have set some papers inside I've been trying to figure out my interior I do have that figured out I have all of my variety of cards all figured out as to how I want them to go. Um, this is some more that's going to go on the inside. And then um, I also think there's some inside work here, things that are going to go on the inside. So, and then I pulled out a bunch of papers 
and embellishments to go with each fashion card. So like this one's already ready to go. This would go with this and it has its fashion stuff. See, so I've got each of these uh, papers are set and ready to go. So I did all the figuring out work the other day when no one was around and now I'm ready to move on. So I'm really worried about ruining this. I know I can make it again. I just don't want to have to. So what I'm thinking I might want to do, I'm, I'm wondering if I want to get a clean dauber and, um, and then uh, get a, one of my, take one of these off and so I'm going to want to play with this ink and I want to see if I can. And now I'm going to grab a piece of paper. You know, it's funny. We rarely have junk paper, right? We only have the stuff we use for our projects. <laughs> but this is where I test print tested. So I'm going to use it to test ink, right? So let's see. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to work. This is one of my favorite little ink pads, but it may be dried out. And I don't have refills for these because these were just, I think these were like the dollar section of Target or something during the holidays. So I was thinking I would try um, some pretty corners. Now, I do keep these in their original packaging, one, so I know where I got them, but two, just to protect them from getting uh, bent and cracked and damaged. So, I'm going to... I'm going to play with this a bit before I go doing it on my cover. That's kind of a silver gray. That's sort of interesting. It's pretty, but it's not giving me what I want. Let's try this one. It's more gold. There's a lot of ink on that one. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Much more ink. There's a lot more ink on that one. Yeah. Let's see what we get here. What are you guys up to? Anything new and exciting? This should be Wednesday for you. Well, it's funny. It, it's very gray on, I don't even know if you guys could see it. I don't think it would show up much. I am wondering if I'm going to have to emboss. How does that work? How can I do that? So I guess what I would do would be to, I don't, Mm, I'm going to have to do some major, major work. <sighs> That's not silver. It's gold. Oh, it's champagne. That's why. It's champagne. Oh, both of them are champagne. I do have gold gold. That's this one. I've never even opened this. I've probably had it a couple years. It could be all dried out for all I know. Let me find my... Hello. I know you're in here. There we go. I've saved this forever because I love this beautiful copper color um, that I thought would be cool, you know, in the fall, but I'm not doing the kind of work I was doing, so I don't know. Let's try this gold. One more. Let's give this one more try. Oh, let's put this away so I don't end up slitting my wrist. Okay, let's open this one. Oh, this one's sealed. Ooh, okay. Uh, that feels really funky. What in the world is that on there? It's all like greasy. That was weird. When you spend a dollar or two or three, I don't know how much I spent on that one, but hmm, that did not feel great. Okay, there's a So 
Sorry, guys. I'm concentrating on getting this all off of here before I end up with stuff all over my cover, my pages, my everything. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Am I going to get the gold I'm looking for here? Well, it's definitely more gold. I'm going to try to get rid of the old gold that I had on there. The champagne, which is pretty, but it's not. Okay, so let's try this again. Well, it's much more gold. Um, experimentation here, right? Um, now, if I were to stamp, excuse my arm for a minute. I'm hoping I have swirlies here. I do have some swirlies here. Let's try. I'm going to see what color it actually is. And do we see the gold? We do. Okay, I don't know if you'll get it in the light, but yeah, I I like that. So I'm just going to kind of clean that off a little bit. Hmm. Thoughts, anybody? Oh, gosh, I wish I could talk to you guys. Um... This might work if I use a brush, right? Well, that's my good brush. Let's use that not so good brush, right? Okay, let's try this. I wanna work with what I have here. Now I may have to go get out my embossing stuff, which means I wouldn't do it on this video. I'd have to do it off video. Oh, okay, I get a lot, I get a lot more, um, With the brush, I can get the look I want, or I can use a stamp. So, what do we want to use? What do we think? I think first thing I want to do, though, is I'm going to get a wet one. I am going to cover that back up so I don't end up putting my hand in it. Get that oil off my hand, whatever the heck that was. I have another different dry one over here I'm going to use. You know what? <laughs> funny. I had the funniest. Um, I got to tell you a funny story here in just a second about my wipes. Remind me to do that in a minute. Okay. I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want that color, that old color, the champagne color all over it. I want it to be nice and clean before we get going. Oh, I think I'm going to use a combination of stuff. All right. Anyway, um, my husband and I were, we got into his truck and we were out having lunch and we were running errands and we went out to lunch and I said, oh honey, I'm going to get one of these wet ones out of the back of the truck and, you know, wipe my hands down. And my hands are all dirty from lunch and because we we're sitting in the truck eating and um, we didn't want to go inside. We were doing a real, like a, a dash and go, you know, stuff your face and then get going again. So we're just in the car and the air conditioner was running and we're chatting. And so I go and I get this pack out of wipes that I have in the car and I go to open it up and they're all completely dried out. I probably haven't opened them in three years. We used to, we used to, you know, use the wipes in the car all the time prior to, you know, the big C. And, um, once that happened, they sat in the car. My husband wasn't using them. He was using the hand sanitizer and some antibacterial, other antibacterial wipes. He forgot about those. He didn't know I put them in there. So I was like, he goes, oh man, you're gonna have to throw this away. I go, no, I'm not. <laughs> I took the entire pack into my studio. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, honey, I'll use those in the studio. He goes, what do you mean? I said, oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll use them in the studio. See, look, I'll dry it out. 
perfect for me to use in here. I was so excited. Yeah, um, I had a package of these. And so I go to the other car thinking I'll bet you that dried out and yes, they were. So I have two packs of dry wipes to use to clean up in my studio. I was super excited. <laughs> Normally I would have to throw those away thinking, oh, they're no good. But with what we do, they were perfect. <laughs> so are we funny or what? I think we're the funniest human beings, really. I think we are. We get so excited about dried out wipes, right? Now I'm going to try this on a clean everything, right? I've got everything all clean. So let's try one more time. I want to see before I go put that on the cover. If this really is indeed going to work with the look that I want. Oh yeah, I think so. I don't consider this wasting my time because I really need to get this cover done. This is what I do. This is a process video, as I told you guys. For those of you who are new, I don't do um, a lot of tutorials. I do process videos and craft with me and craft along and chat. It's okay. It's um it's really hard to get enough ink in the hole to get the look. I mean, I'll get something on there. So how subtle do I want it to be, right? That's my thing. Hmm. Question. I don't know, guys. I'm at a uh, loss as to what to do here. So. Hmm. Well. I am thinking that maybe my corners will be. Um. I don't know. I don't have a, I mean, I do have swirlies I could use on the corners, but I mean, I don't have anything really gorgeous I could stamp on here. And um, I guess I could use embossing powder. I've never done it where you, you use the embossing stuff in the holes, the pad, or the pen. I do have a pen. And then I could put the embossing powder on it and I'm going to have to play with that. I, I Like I said, I don't want to ruin my cover because it's my cover and it's already on, it's already on here. So mm, I got to be careful with this. So, all right. Well, that's kind of an epic fail, but not. It tells me what I can and can do, can and can't do with my inks at this point. I'm going to put those aside. But the other thing I am tempted to do is... Um, I'm cleaning my brush while I'm talking. While well, I'm thinking, I'm cleaning and thinking. I was inking and thinking, and now I'm cleaning and thinking. Okay, let's put that up there to dry while I'm thinking my way through this. Um, gosh, you guys, let me. I would need to, I would need to play with my orientation as to where this would go. I have a bunch of these in different sizes, so I'm gonna have to. Of course, they're buried. I can't get to them real easy. So if I were to put that in a corner, I would want it this way maybe. If I was gonna go that way and then up that way. I guess if I don't like it, I could emboss over it or cover it. Yeah, all right. Fingers crossed, guys, here we go. That's pretty. 
I'm getting the look I want. Oh, that's pretty. That came out real pretty. I don't know if you can, let me stand up and see what you see in the camera. Yeah, you guys could see the gold. All right. I have some other really beautiful um, corners. I have some, I think it's called Baroque swirls or I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. I used to know that stuff, but I've kind of forgotten. So now I'm gonna go here. I hold it down for, you know, five to 10 seconds just to make sure I'm getting it to sink into the paper. This is a 2006 Stampin' Up! stamp, so I'm pretty sure you can't get it. All right, anymore, unless you know a Stampin' Up! dealer who can find you one. All right, look at that, beautiful. Okay, I like that. That's kind of something what I had in mind. I do have some more beautiful corner stamps. Let's see where, don't have it there, unfortunately. I'm gonna stamp this off. I clean my stamps as I go. I never, I don't know why, I can't, it bugs me to see my stamps dirty. I can't take it. It's like, oh no, it's not clean. Plus, I found I get a better stamp every time if my stamps are clean. After a while, that the ink builds up, and then you don't get a nice, clean, you know, stamp. I know I have more corner stamps. I will get those out later. Um, and, oh, let me see. I'm looking to see if I have one, the one I want, if it's out here at all. No, these are floral. Ooh, there's a pretty stamp I might want to use in this. There we are. Alrighty, I got that one. I'm in my stamp drawers. Hello, where are you, darlings? I was looking to see what I had that I could get to, but I don't really have what I want. Oh, okay. So I'll have to go into my other, I'm gonna use that one at some point. So we'll, we'll leave the ink in that up. All right. I'm gonna leave that alone for a bit, maybe not touch it for now. But I am gonna take my gold and I've left its original top on it to keep it. I hate that it separates all the time though, but it is what it is. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna get a little gold along the edge well I've been fussing this for with this for a half hour so and I only make an hour video so we're gonna have to stop working on this pretty quick Just adding the hint of the gold around the edge. Because I want this to be very elegant and probably won't see this because I'll probably have lace there, but I put it there anyway, just for the moment. Kind of want some a good amount in the corners. Pretty. Okay. We'll do the back and then we'll move on. I promise. I think we should glue the rest of the papers in at this point. On the inside, we should finish the inside of this so you can see where it's going. I don't know if I'll do um keep doing this on 
video. I've got another project I'm going to, well, okay, let's put it this way. I have another project I'm going to start. It'll be on probably my Friday video. And I do, I'll do that on Friday. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on two projects at once. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm going to do some guest design work for my friend Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I can't be a designer for anybody. I can't be on a design team with everything that's going on, but I can certainly create with their kits periodically for fun when they send me something fabulous, which she did. She has a beautiful new kit. And it's very shabby chic, very shabby. Pink shabby. So you guys hopefully will like that project. If this one isn't your thing. Lots of lace and pearls and sparklies and now I'm all golden sparkly. I'm now all sparkly. Nothing wrong with sparkly. Okay, so we'll let that dry a little bit for a minute. I'm gonna move that paper. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna move that off to the side. Um, let me see, what should we work on next, guys? <clears throat> should we do another plate? I'm thinking maybe we should do another plate, fashion plate, while I let that dry a little. I honestly don't know how much it needs to dry. It's probably okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to come off at all. Okay, well, I guess it's dry enough. Okay, this is the inside. So I would like to get this one going. I wanna get it all covered, right? Because that's necessary. As you know, we're working with a file folder. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, um, there is a part one of this on my in my video list. You will find it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek Another project I'm working on, and that's as much as you're gonna see of that. So what I wanna do is I want to, um, one thing I learned when I put this on, because I cut little bits out of the middle to make it fold nice and easy, you could see down here and you could see the file folder. So I'm going to add a bit of paper before I uh, glue this in, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna ink everything. So we gotta do our inking. We're not going to get terribly far today. I am moving kind of slow. I um, was suffering from some severe dizzy, dizzy spells. We we had a freaky thing here in California. Well, at least where I live on the sort of coastally. We have winter, not for, for very long. And we get our rain then. And then we get a few spring showers. And then no more rain. That's it. We're done. All summer long. Until maybe maybe October, occasionally September, once in a blue moon. Well, the other night, here it is July, and my husband and I are sleeping, and we both wake up and we go, what is that sound? It was pouring rain, not likely, coming down hard, pouring rain. And we're like, oh no, we have all my little pretties outside, none of which are supposed to get wet. <laughs> they're not, they're designer. I decorate my patio for the summer, right? Because we don't have rain. <laughs> Surprise, we had rain. Everything got sopping wet. Then during the day, it rained some more. Well, what happened is the bar barometric pressure changed a ton. I'd been suffering with a number of migraines. Well, yesterday, I couldn't even stand up straight. I had, my dizzy spells were so bad. They were back. And it was because of the change of the barometric pressure. And it was super, and it still is, super humid. Well, my heart and my head do not like humidity. So, why well, I live in California. So, I had a rough day yesterday. I basically was down all day. I couldn't even, I barely could even open my eyes. So, because I was so dizzy. And there, the doctors have tried a ton of medication. Nothing works. It's just something that happens in my head when, when it rains. So, or when it's humid. So, the, not so much the rain, but the humidity was bad. So, I, oh. 
was a rough day yesterday. Better today. So I'm making my videos today. Still kind of humid, but not as bad. Still a little dizzy, but just moving slow. But was super anxious to get in here and get back to my projects. All I could think about yesterday was this project, even though I wasn't allowed to do it. Well, I couldn't do it. So, okay, we've inked everything. Sort of, kind of. Now, let's get some glue. What glue do I want? I, I think I'm going to continue to use my... Because this doesn't have water in it, it doesn't wrinkle the paper. Which I prefer not to wrinkle my papers when I'm doing a cover. I am going to put this down here. Because I don't want to see the paper. Right? So... Once you put the pockets up, see, you still could see that, right? You could still see that. So I wanted to just put a little something there. I guess I could have put it over the paper, but I think it's fine that way. So again, I'm going to use the fabric tack because it doesn't have any water in it. Most of the fabric glues don't have water in them. Let's do this. Thank you all for your congratulations on our new grandbaby. That was so sweet of you guys. Yeah, we're super excited, but like I told you guys, I won't get to see him for a while. Not till not till fall when it cools down in Arizona, because it's just too dang hot for me to go there right now. So we will go see him soon. I'm really anxious. He's a big boy too. That's a one big boy. Almost nine pounder, eight and a half. His daddy was a nine pound baby. So that makes sense, right? Although his little brother was like a six pound baby. I mean, his big brother was like a six pound baby. So you never know what you're gonna get, right? That was baby number four. So that's for them. Two boys and two girls, perfect. It's just too bad that there's 10 years between baby brother and big brother. But I know big brother's going to be a fabulous big brother to that little baby boy. He already is. They're already so cute. I've seen so many pictures of them already holding the baby. Of course, it's new. That's going to get old when the baby cries all the time. Hopefully, this is a, a quiet baby, not a, not a noisy baby. We'll see. You never know what you're going to get in that lot either. All right. Well, there we go. That looks good. Now, I'm thinking, I have these scraps, so I was thinking I want to, ooh, there's just enough to cover that. So I, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna glue it on here right to the edge and then trim and then glue that one on and then trim. So that'll get our, our cover going. Um, so I've already inked it. So if it does show, which I doubt if I do it right, I won't, you won't see the edges, but I don't know, maybe you will. Okay, and I'm using um, Vintage Photo. I need to remember I have new people who don't, who aren't familiar with some of this. It's by Tim Holtz and Ranger Inc. And they have given us something wonderful to add dimension and age and color. Given us a wonderful whole selection of colors, actually. Um... Yes, it's the top. Now I'm going to trim to fit, and I'm going to leave a little bit of the paper, a little bit of the brown paper showing just barely on the edge. And then I'm going to trim it. Let's get some smaller scissors. These are my creative memory scissors. I was a creative memory consultant for all of five seconds until I realized there was no market here for it and couldn't sell it or even book a party to save my life. So I quickly left the company and didn't invest any more money, but the initial investment was huge. So at that time, you had to carry everything you needed to do a party of like, I don't know, six to 10 people. So I had six pair of scissors, 10 pair of scissors. I had a lot of everything. Cause I generally, I had been, um, Mary Kay and beauty control consultants. So I knew, you know, about how many people were at what could fit in a party. And 
So I was all stocked up and excited and ready to go and couldn't get it off the ground. So I was like, oh, forget it. And the fact that I knew how to get it off the ground and couldn't told me there was no way it was going anywhere. So um, I have all that stuff. Still, I need to get, I have the cases and all the cutters and scissors and um, punches and tons and tons of it. I really should try to de-stash it, I guess. Maybe I can find some people who want the original creative memory stuff. I don't know. Maybe there's a market for that. So maybe somebody will take it off my hands. I don't know. Of course, I kept all the scissors. I'm keeping all the scissors and the paper cutters and punches and stuff, but there's still a ton. I don't need the big black cases. I have like four of those taking up closet space, which I am definitely getting rid of when I redo my room. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going from this my small 10 by 11 room to a 15 by 18 studio. So, um, and then I'm going to bring all my fabric into this room. So this is just going to become a fabric room. Fabric and possibly shipping for my Etsy shop. And so... Shipping office is what this room will be, and then the other one will be my working studio. So it's got really long 18 foot cutting counter, and now it's probably about 15 feet maybe, and a big cutting table smack in the middle, and a giant closet, but of course that's full of other crafting stuff that isn't, some of it's paper stuff. All right. There we go. Oh, look how easy that was. Now, I am thinking I want to glue that and that down and leave these open for easy access, right? And then I want to do the same thing here. Now, what I don't have is I will have to get another, pull another sheet from the pack if I want these to match. But I'm thinking I want to put, um, let's see. Oh, nope, here it is. Wrong stack. Wrong stack. Here we go. Here's the right stack. This, these ladies on over here and over here, and then this on the bottom, just like that. That's going to be the pinks on the side, right? Oh, nope, that's the top. So we'll put pink on each side. So it's going to be very pink and blue. Pink and blue. And I want to get, um, mm, I think we're gonna have the same issue here. Okay, now what did I do with my, ouch, sorry guys my bits and pieces of that stuff. I put it back in my scrap pile. So excuse me a minute while I scrounge through my scraps. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I just dropped all my scraps on the floor. Okay. Boy, I'm so tired of this tiny little studio. It is wall to wall clear to the middle of the floor stuff. I've never, ever, ever worked in, in this much stuff in my entire life. I just have stuff everywhere. I cannot wait. I keep putting off packing up, but I'm going to have to, I'm looking for a scrap for down there. Um, I am going to have to pack this puppy up. I just can't keep this up. I'm, I feel like I'm drowning in paper, literally drowning in paper. So I just want a little, like a little scrap down there. <sighs> I was looking for my little polka dot scraps. I know I have some. I think I stuck them in. Do to do to do. I'm wandering around my studio here. Oh my gosh, guys! I have nowhere to put anything. I have big old work surface, and I have nowhere to put anything. Not okay. All right, a time. Oh, you guys have 15 minutes left. Yikes. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. All right. So let me... Now, oh, see, that's going to show. Darn it. See, I should have... Is that already set? It probably is. Yep. Okay, I didn't think about that. You barely see it, but I do see it, and it will bug my eye. It will really bug me. If I glue that down, you won't see. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I know what I want to do here. So I'm going to go. I need to get that glued down, and then I put the other paper on top. It'll be fine. Yeah, so you see a little bit of it. 
you do see a little. That's fine. But I'm going to put this on top. See, so it's going to go down like to a certain point. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I need to get, I want it to just lightly, let's see. I need to see where it bends. Okay, so we're going to just bump it up to that other one and move it back just a bit. I think I already inked this. Yeah, I did. I'm going to ink it just a tad more. All right. Okie dokie. Okay, so I want to use these ladies. And I guess I'll glue them on and then cut them like I usually do. So let me get it up there. Aren't they beautiful? They're so pretty. And then they'll get cut off right there. And we'll put the other ladies on the other side and you will have this whole inside. And these are from chapter one papers. The other ones that I've been using are from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So I'm using both, both ladies. Okay, so. I'm actually gonna glue this this time. And I think I'm gonna go all the way out to the edge, but I'm not positive. Oh gosh, do I want to? Gosh, did I just make a boo-boo? If I go all the way, yeah, I guess I will. I guess I will. I can always put a tab over it if I want to. I'm just, I'm just having, this is the part that reminds me of kindergarten where you just kind of glop it all on there. I loved cutting and gluing in art in kindergarten. It's probably the only thing I liked. I hated kindergarten. I had a really mean teacher. Her name was Mrs. Downing. Oh, she was horrible. I couldn't stand her. She was so mean. And I didn't like kindergarten. And I don't think she liked me either because she actually held me back. She said I was not ready to go to school with all the other children. I was too contrary. So I told my mom I was not mature enough or ready to go to school. I was, mind you, I was already, already a year older than the other kids. And that caused me so much because all my friends went on without me. That hurt me so bad. I was always supposed to be with other kids and I never fit in after that. It was a sad situation. I don't think parents realize when they hold a child back. Back then, it was very common to hold a child back. We don't do that anymore, thank goodness. I'm going to have to put some lace or something up there because I'm having trouble getting it where I want it. Mm. This is why I'm not using the other glue because I need to be able to do what I just did. Okay, I might have to get some lace up there. I'm hoping that's still going to stick. I've picked it up so many times, I'm probably going to have to re-glue the whole thing, right? Well, it is going to bend, darn it. I needed to get it over there, and now it's going to stick up. So I may have to put some lace or something there. We'll see. All right. I'm going to run out of time, you guys. I will have to check my clock in a minute. have any stories for you right now we are we put the stairs are next and it's going to cut off half the house and so when we work on it and so I put it off just so we could feel like we're living a normal life for a little bit we've had some really good days just living life and that's what I needed to do for a little while so I can still put a tab right there if I want one all right whoopsie well I know that wasn't glued right I missed that corner I really don't like these corners. I am going to, I know I just put glue on that, right? Yep, I knew I was gonna end up doing this. I knew I was not gonna be happy unless I rounded my corners. I want my scissors onto the floor. Good thing I had on, I have on a dress that goes past my knees because those scissors just, went point first into my thigh 
but didn't cut me because it's a fairly thick t-shirt dress. So, and there we go. I don't even know where my scissors went. Just missed my foot. Gosh. Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry I don't have a lot of chit chat, but I will because we're about to start the next set of, I think, maybe by the time you see Friday video, Hopefully we're starting on the stairs, which I don't not sure how I'll make a video because that is gonna be one noisy project from what I understand. My husband warned me, honey, it's gonna be super noisy. I'm like, oh great. That's what I want to hear. Oh, a lot of pounding, a lot of cutting, a lot of gluing, a lot, a lot, a lot of everything. So all right. Now I want to I, I'm gonna cut this off because I think it'll be easier. Hopefully I didn't cut it too short. No, I didn't. We're good. Okay, so I want to make sure there's some ink on this. I won't pre-round it because that would be crazy, right? And we'll glue that on. So, this today is just cover day. We're just working on the cover today. I think that's how I will label this video, is working on the cover. So hopefully somebody watched the video. Not as many people normally uh, are interested in this project. I, I guess that you guys really, really prefer the shabby chic um, kind of, and my other ladies to these ladies. So it seems like that's what I'm seeing here. And that's okay. Everybody has their favorites. But I really love this era. And I love, love working with it. Just like I know I'm going to want to do a Marie Antoinette journal. Or, well, not a journal. But I do have a project coming up with Marie Antoinette. Some little mini journal books. So that is coming up too. But that's going to be pretty bright and pretty. That should be really a fun one. I don't know if it's going to be a book or... Um, I mean, a journal, or if it's going to be something fun, something else, a different type of project, possibly. So, there we go. I'm going to round this corner. There we are. Alrighty. Now I'm going to have to put more glue in this seam, and I'm going to have to figure out what else I want to do to help that seam. Because it's going to fold, and it's going to be kind of a problem, I think. I think it's going to be lace or something right through each. I think I might put lace in in, in all the uh, folds. So we have that. And now we have to do this other side, but we're going to run out of time, I think. Let me look, guys. Do I have time to do one more side? Um, I have time, maybe. We'll see if we can try to now we know I need to put a little piece over here. We've already been through that. So we'll just go ahead and get that one on there. You don't see it, but I do. So I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and do it so my eye is happy. I need to have a happy eye. Otherwise I'll never be happy with the project. Well, I hope you guys are all having a good time. I hope you're all crafting and making fun things and Spending time with your families and whatever else is going on. I don't know. I know some of you are getting new grandbabies too. So exciting, isn't it? I kind of forgot about it for a while. I mean, they were out here a, couple, a month or two ago when Lindsay could still travel. So that was really fun to see her pregnant. Well, I got to see her pregnant the one time, but that's okay. I got pictures, so... The kids were so excited. They would stop and talk to the baby all day long. That was in her tummy. Now they've got it for real. <laughs> but they're not quite so excited anymore. I don't know. They're really super good kids. And they're all super close to each other. So they are probably just excited as can be. I think the baby's going to be in mom's room. But eventually poor little Emerson will have her in her room. Well, Emerson and Al, they all share rooms, so I don't know. They don't have to. They have separate bedrooms, but they all like being together. It's crazy. 
even Parker had his own lair downstairs, big 10 year old. And he said, no, I want to be upstairs with everybody else. So, you know, one of the girls gave up their room so he could have a room upstairs. And they kept the downstairs bedroom for their classroom because they're homeschooled. So very fun. They're all wonderful children. I love them very much. And I miss them. I only got to be with them for a few hours one day. That was so heartbreaking to let them go. I cried when they left. So we are looking forward to going out there very, very soon and seeing everybody. And maybe hang out for a while. We'll probably... We won't be able to stay with them because the house is full, full, full. Well, they do have a casita, so maybe we'll stay in the casita or we'll get a hotel room. Probably get a hotel room. That way we can come and go and hang out for as long as we want and we're not impacting their family at all. Besides, I like to stay in a hotel. I haven't been able to stay in one since you know what, so it'd be fun to do that again. All righty. Look at that. All right. Look at that. One more to go. Come on. See if we can do it. Let's see. Let's see. Is there enough here? Do I have enough? Oh, just missed it. Doggone it. Oh, man. Just shy of that. Look at that. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. We'll cut another. We'll cut another piece. It's fine. I'll use it on something else. I like having that bit of gray music paper there. I think that's really pretty. So let me cut off a piece here. All right, so let's get this here. Well, thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your kind comments and all your support with our cinema. I really, really appreciate that and um, Things are okay, so we're just moving along. Nothing new, nothing new to report, just keeping it real. Don't have a lot to say right now, so just a little on the quiet side, but it's not, you know, it's not anything major. I think I'll just put the glue on here. I'm just trying to pre-cut that ain't gonna happen, so we're gonna do it this way. Yeah, I am filming early morning, so you guys will have a video tomorrow, which is today is Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. You will see this on Wednesday. So, I'm not quite awake. My husband woke me up and said, honey, did you want to get some videos done before it gets too hot today in that room? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's another thing about my new studio. It's on the shady side of the house, so it would be so much easier to <laughs> do film over in that side. It's just going to seem weird not to be here looking out in the front yard, to look in the backyard, to look at the hill and... Right now the hill's pretty, but it's drying out, so pretty soon it won't be a view, pretty view. I don't know if that's just going to break my heart, because we have water restrictions here. Big time. My neighbor got in trouble for watering too much. And letting the water run down the hill, and doing it at a time of morning that didn't allow for it to soak into the ground. Boy, did they get in trouble. So, they got a big warning. Next time they get a big fat fine, so... Anyway, I will enjoy having my bigger studio in a shady room. There we go. Look at that. Oh, boy. I need to do better with my glue. My corners. Check all my corners, right? Okay, I'm going to have to get my corner rounder. My chomper. I didn't do a very good job of getting that in there. There we go. There, you guys. We got the inside all covered, right? Now, I will just glue down the parts and then leave, like, this open. Or I'm going to glue that down and leave that open. I can't decide. Probably I'm going to leave that side open. I am going to have to add more glue over here. Because this is right in the bend, which I didn't want to do. But I didn't also want to see a whole lot of that brown file folder either. So... What are you going to do? Okay. Now, we're going to need some lace on the inside, I see. So I don't want to glue those down yet. Um, I also need some ink. 
on the inside. And you guys, I just looked at my clock and it is time for me to go and end this video. So I don't know. I think my Friday video will be uh, a different project and we'll come back to this next week. And I will probably work on um, a lot of the uh, plates, the fashion plates off camera and then come back and show you. And then maybe we can do the finish up work in a part three. I think we could do maybe a finish up video where we do some, I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how far I get on it uh, by myself. And then whether while I'm doing it by myself, I may flip the camera back on, you know, I just don't know. We'll see one, one thing at a time, right? One day at a time. So there we have it. We have our, our folio. Oof. I didn't like the fold there. Um, I'm going to have to do something with that. I can see I'm going to have to trim that. So anyway, this is how you do it. This is how you would um, line your inside or how I like to do it. You could do it with fabric if you prefer fabric. So totally up to you as to what you want to do. Well, thanks for coming along and hanging out with me and doing a little crafting. And I hope you'll stop in again soon. And hugs and kisses to you guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye.